Hello and welcome to another great tutorial brought to you by Mac Production on how to create a wheel or uh, should we say a rim uh, within 3D Studio Max. Now I don't want to be really wasting a lot of time so let's just go ahead and get started. Simply create a plane, place your um, blueprint into there. So simply start by clicking and dragging uh, a plane. I'm going to go ahead and apply this material to it which I've created. Okay. Um, there's nothing special about that material. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, line these up to the middle. Now, in this, it doesn't really matter if the right side is not the same because we're gonna delete it and, you know, make copy of it. So, I'm gonna convert this to export poly with no segments. <clears throat> poly, okay. Let's go. Now, according to my rim, I need I need a few lines just in the middle and maybe just to the side to kind of smoothen it up. So first of all I'll begin by grabbing the, the width C2, width of 2, move these in, move these out, move this up, okay, just to you know align them up. Right now I'm just concentrating on the left side. Not too much to the right. The right is only to guide me and you know a little bit more further out. So this should do. I'm gonna go ahead and move them up just to align them onto these center corners. Now I'll go ahead and select the middle, go ahead and okay, so select this ring chamfer or not no chamfer, connect them instead. Pinch them to roundabout in the middle, according to the lines. Click OK. You have middle line, and that looks good. Click this center this edge. Click ring, ring it, and then connect it again. But this time we'll have one segment, and we don't want no pinch or no slide. And we have the middle. Okay, so now, according to my room, as far as I know, uh, that this is not it's not straight. Okay, so it's, it's not it's not straight. <laughs> Looks weird. So we're gonna go ahead and move this back. I'm going to go ahead and slide this back a little. Okay, so about there. Just gonna have to eyeball it because we didn't have like a 3D perspective. So it's right. You know, to the side thing. And, uh, now that we have that in place, uh, go ahead and uh, what should we do next? Okay, we should select the sides and shift, hold down shift and drag them. That should make a duplicate of it. Okay, and there we have it. Now we have the very basic simple shape. Go ahead and select the vertex tool, zoom into here, select this one, or what you can do is you can select the middle edge, hold down control and press the vertex tool. That will select the two. So move this back. So you have a simple shape. Uh, according to that, uh, anything you need to chamfer, actually we'll go ahead and go into the form viewport again. Select the edge, select these edges, go ahead and click the loop and shift down, so shift down them. Uh, for now, just go ahead. Okay, concentrate on this left hand side, okay? So we want, this is the first section, second, third, fourth and so on. And we want a straight middle line going down. Otherwise, if we go ahead and straight like that, you know, if we go straight down, uh, when we duplicate them, other two, because obviously we're not going to waste time creating the six. So, and the five, because we already created the six. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, you want this line going straight down. Don't worry about the right hand side, because we'll fix that. And you can see here that this is not aligned. So, what you want to do is. Select this, go ahead and go ring, no, not ring, loop it, and move this a little bit. Please select this one as well. 
a little bit. We want the middle one to be in the middle, and that should do the work. Okay, now I'm going to be no more waste of time. Select the left side, the left vertices up to here. Go ahead and delete them, and mine is not lined up. So go into the arbitrary panel, effect pivots only, and move it to right in the middle. Okay, because obviously we're going to be mirroring the other side. So turn it off. Go back into the modify panel. Click mirror. Mirror on the x-axis. Copy it. Click OK. Set to the right one. Okay. Select the original one. Click attach and attach the other one. That should do the work. And then go in. Select vertex mode. Go in here. Select them down the middle. Up, up, up. Control select. Okay. The middle ones. Click on wield and that does the work. Now we have that. Now we can begin chamfering. Okay. So the part we want chamfered is simply very simply the size of so select edge. Click this. Or if you want to do it in a safer way, actually don't chamfer these bits right now because you know when we connect them later on, it may cause trouble. Uh, we'll go ahead and chamfer this. Now we don't want it to be a very big amount. Trust me, we want it as small as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with 0 0.05. No, too big. 0.01. Okay, 0 0.01 works for me. Uh, click on the middle one, chamfer that as well. Sorry, select it all the way down so you can loop it and then chamfer it. So chamfer it. Uh, obviously, we want this to be aligning up to the other two. As we can see. Okay, so about that much and then move it back. And then, when you've moved it back, you know, we want plenty of space in there. Chamfer it one more time. You know, just to, oh, not that much. So about, yeah. So, <laughs> my, uh, my unit's a little different, but, you know, just, no, you don't want a lot. Just want a little bit. Okay, the reason we chamfered it is because is because we're with the max smooth. Now you can see these are very rounded and you know sharp. But this, which we've not chamfered, results this. That's why we chamfered it. We chamfer more later on, but these sides don't chamfer them right now because we're going to be connecting them. So that's pretty much all from the basic shape. Okay. And Let's move on to arraying it properly. What we're going to do now is simply go to go to the front first. Go to the front uh, viewport. This is important. You have to go to the front one, otherwise it messes up. On tools, array, and then what you want to do is you want to go on 360 on the Z Z axis. 360s keep re orientation on and we want to copy it on one count okay so 1d and 6 count as you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if yours has 5 go and make 5 we remember sorry remember that these this line hold on these edges has to be pretty much the halfway so you know if we duplicate it this part would cut into this one and then we can wield it from there okay so we're going to tools, array, 360, you can click on the preview, and there we go, my lines up perfectly. A few of the, uh, a few edges are in vertices are out of order, but you can always wheel that up. So, click OK, and there you have it, your wheel is simply perfectly aligned in place. Uh, now, I have made a mistake, and I'll show you what that is. Remember, this polygon cannot be there, so you want to delete these poly because the edges cannot connect unless there is a poly in between oh uh, sorry, sorry the vertices all the edges neither of them can connect if there's a poly in between so if i go ahead and click on the front view part first click on that tools array and i go ahead and preview and that okay so now select the first top one 
go on attach and attach these together now the mistake I've done here is if I would have gone into there I had all of them named as plain so I'll click this as click this as blueprint okay and I'll make this rim so now that we've attached these go on to the vertex tool select these two go on wheels and there we go, it should wheel up. Oh, sorry. Like that. Wheel. Okay. Now select these. Wheel. This is, I'm just going to pause the video and then do all this and then I'll come back. We will do the edges up now. And you can see here, we will do these up, these, these, and these. But zoom out, you can see a little bit more better. And that's pretty much all from this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial we will see how to create a tie thread um, and for that please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel you'll see the update available on the subscriptions and um, um, yeah and we'll probably look at the rim as well the outside of the rim and comment down below like the video if you're uh, if you have any questions do email me at mak underscore productions at hotmail.com thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video